Thank so you. tell me about um, this story gives us a little known or, or a glimpse into a very little known side of Lincoln as a father. We see him struggle with his responsibilities to the country, his wife, his family. Uh, talk a little bit about that dynamic between father and son that we see in the film. Yeah, well, um, I play Robert Lincoln, who's Abraham Lincoln's eldest son. And uh, in fact, they didn't have a great father-son relationship. It was quite strained. Um, Abraham Lincoln was largely absent when Robert was young. He was on the circuit. And I love that because this movie doesn't portray Abraham Lincoln as a simple icon or an angel. It shows him as a human being. It shows him, you know, as a man with flaws and a guy who has to make compromises and who has his moments of hypocrisy. And I think that's really important. And, you know, yes, he's one of the great leaders and great minds of, you know, history ever. But he was also a human being. And uh, I think, A, it's important to remember, and B, it makes for a really interesting movie to watch. Um, tell me about working opposite Daniel Day-Lewis in the role of Lincoln. You know, he's playing your father. and what, what was that like to see him inhabit this role? It's uncanny. I mean, Daniel's just a, a phenomenon. He's, he's kind of in a league of his own. Um, and I had absolutely no problem just believing that I was speaking to Abraham Lincoln, um, which is, I mean, sort of mind-boggling because a Abraham Lincoln, I I'm, you know, I grew up in the United States of America. I'm, I have Abraham Lincoln on my pennies and on my fives, and, and uh, you know, he's, he's this iconic figure in all of our psyches. So to see an actor so seamlessly just become this figure and, and have no problem just believing he was him. Uh, it's really an accomplishment. So on the one hand, you had uh, Daniel Day-Lewis as, as Lincoln as a very, very believable um, character. And then you also were taken into the White House of 1865 in this film. I mean, the, uh, the attention to detail and the authenticity are quite remarkable. What was it like to have that environment on top of, you know, these very real characters around you? How did that affect your work as an actor? Yeah, they replicated the Lincoln White House with meticulous historical accuracy. And uh, I just love it when anybody gives that much love and care into their work. It makes my job a lot easier, you know, when I can step onto set um, and the environment that Stephen has created is so um, conducive to an actor being able to focus and just get into it and and uh, and not feel like we're acting and feel like it's real. What struck you most about walking onto the set? Um, maybe the first time that you walked onto set. What what was what stood out to you the most? Oh, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, that that the whole the whole set revolved around him, and as it should have. And I and I think that that really speaks highly to Stephen. Um, because uh, a less experienced or perhaps more egotistical director, you know, generally a set revolves around the director. Um, but Stephen really centered everything on Daniel, uh, the president. It's called him Mr. President. And uh, I think that was key. And uh, for me, it made it just, like I could just slip into this world. Um, there's so many relevant topics and themes in this film that resonate today. Um, what stands out to you most about the story that Stephen chose to tell? Obviously he had a, you know, he had a pick of many stories he could have told about this man. Um, what stands out to you most about the story he chose to tell and, and how audiences today might receive it? Yeah, well, when I, when I first sat down to read the script, I figured I was just going to read a biography of Lincoln, and that's not what this movie is. In fact, it's it's focused on this one moment um, leading up to, excuse me, leading up to the passing of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution and slavery in the United States. And uh, what struck me the most, I guess, is that this was controversial. You know, now it, it seems pretty obvious no human being should be a slave. Um, all men are created equal, isn't that the whole point? Um, but back then, super controversial. I mean, Un 
on both sides. That that was another thing that really struck me is that Lincoln wasn't just contending with uh, the Democrats because back then the Democratic Party was the Conservative Party and the Republican Party was the more progressive party. Um, and he wasn't just contending with the Democrats who wanted to keep slavery legal. He was also contending with um, more progressive and revolutionary Republicans to the left of him who were holding ideas that, again, today seem completely normal, like the fact that black people should be allowed to vote and that black people and white sh people should be able to get married, etc. cetera. Um, back then, really, really, really revolutionary, controversial ideas. And Lincoln had to make these compromises. Lincoln had to say, I know, I know that's the right thing to do, but I can't push for it right now because if I do, then I'll lose all of these people and we won't be able to take any steps forward. We'll just be stuck. And uh, he received grief, so much grief from, from all sides and so much criticism. And uh, I guess that's what a leader is. Tell me about working with Steven. What's, what's unique about the way he works with his actors and the enthusiasm he has for his films? Well, <clears throat> what I noticed most about Steven immediately and what stuck with me was just how happy he was to be uh, on set and how enthusiastic, just, just gleeful. Um, you know, you'd think he's Steven Spielberg. He's one of the most successful and renowned filmmakers of all time. Probably kind of, you know, it was another day at the office. Not at all. Uh, I, I, I think this project was really special to him. This is, this is a particular movie he's been trying to make happen for years. And, and uh, man, just every day, every shot, he had such love for what he was doing. It, and then and that's contagious. How would you describe this film to someone who knows nothing about it? And, and what do you hope that audiences can take from this film? Uh, well, the first thing I would say to somebody who doesn't know anything about it is this isn't just some patriotic, you know, biography about, oh, you know, I pledge allegiance to Abraham Lincoln. This is a story about a human being. And I think it's important to recognize that even though he was a great leader and, you know, arguably the greatest president ever, um, he was a human being who did have his imperfections and did make mistakes. But besides that being important to recognize, it also just makes it uh, a fun movie to watch because that's, that's what makes any great drama. Um, and this is, uh, it, it's riveting. It's, you know, it's a Spielberg movie. Uh, that's, that's what really surprised me is it, it didn't feel like... Uh, it didn't feel like dancing. It didn't feel like, you know, history class. It felt like a really intense, um, great story.